Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to our channel, Coast to Coast Love, with your favorite fiancés, Niche. And KJ's over there in the back. She in the back. Yo. There hey. she is. <laughs> so y'all, it is our Valentine's Day weekend. So we are about to go celebrate our Valentine's together. So we are about to go on a date over to Philly. So... We're still getting dressed. As you saw, Babe's on her clothes right now. We got to be there Not at 9 9.30. We got to be there. And it is currently, what, 8.15? 8.17. 8.17. So, yeah, let us get ourselves together. Just wanted to open a vlog. We opened it a little late. But y'all know how it is when we don't see each other. We long distance, so we need our we need our us time. I had to get here. <laughs> I know that's right. So let us get ourselves together, and then we're going to come back and show y'all these outfit checks. All right, hold on one second. I see that I'm fine, but you know that I'm lying. You in between all the lines, love, love. Wait, you pay your attention. Outfit check, uh, jacket, holster. Uh, t-shirt or shirt and hat came from Shan. Actually, the pants did too, but good old pair of J's. So you know, those didn't come from anywhere but Nike. And um, I'm dressed, sexy, all black. Yep. Outfit check. So all black, of course. Um, hair Amazon. I got this top from Fashion Nova. These shorts are Express. Yes. The tights, Amazon, and the shoes are from Ross. So I guess in there. I'm ready to do what I do. Baby, what you wanna do? Shoot your shot, cause I'm gonna play that again. Baby, what you wanna do? I'm ready to pull up on you. another day in the vlog so today bay has plans to take me to brunch over in the city last night y'all saw that we went to del frisco's which is a steakhouse in center city so we about to go where bay uh 19 i think it's called 19 okay we're about it's to go in to, some hotel we're about to go to 19 for brunch um and we're going to talk to y'all in the car about how last night's dinner was it was bomb though yeah, but right now, another outfit go. check. Yes, because you know, we always... Well, I ain't even going... Anyway, <laughs> let's do this outfit check, y'all. Outfit check. Beanie's from Amazon. The jacket is from Shein. T-shirt is a good old H&M V-neck. Um, Gap chinos. And, of course, nice pair of Jordans, you know. No, I do all right, outfit check. Y'all already know the hair is Amazon. The jacket is Amazon. The shirt is Amazon. Oh my God, and the pants are Amazon. Everything is Amazon, except for the shoes. I got these a while ago. And they're from, damn, where is these shoes from? 
I don't know, but if I remember, I'll let y'all know. But that's the fit. Hey. Damn chick, I could be a fantasy. I could tell you got big, big energy. It ain't too many of them that can handle me. But I might let you try it off the Hennessy. Make them sing to this thing like a melody. And if your girl ain't right, I got the remedy. It ain't too many of them that can handle me. Bad chick, I could be a fantasy. Today we really didn't do much. It is currently 7.40, what did I say, 3? 3. Yeah, it's currently 7.43 and we actually just got back in the house. We had to go pick Ty up from Maryland today. Yep. So we literally just walked in and we cut the camera on. We just wanted to see what y'all were up to, mm -hmm. how y'all doing. So to recap some things, because y'all saw us go to two different restaurants, we went on what was that saturday night saturday night we yep. went to del, del frisco's. frisco's and we just wanted to let y'all know what our opinions are of the two restaurants so starting with del frisco's since we went there first okay the food was good i didn't really care for our waiter though he was kind of hit and miss like when he first started he started out pretty good but then as the night got on he disappeared he did disappear so we i was like uh life. where'd he go so that was kind of crazy. We had to ask some other waiters, you know, there to find them. Yeah, and for stuff. So that was a bit annoying. But the food was good. The atmosphere was nice. It was um, nice in there. Homeboy had a little bit of a uh, what do you call it? A bro crush, I guess. Oh, On me. <laughs> like, I was like, what are you talking about? Oh my god, that was funny. Yeah, that was. Almost annoying though. A little bit. <laughs> Bay had a hat on. So one thing is there's no athletic wear. So one guy, he gestured, made a hand gesture for me to tell her to take her hat off. So I tell her, you know, you got to take your hat off. So she takes the hat off. And the other guy that was standing next to him, who was, he also worked at the restaurant. I guess they were security because they yeah. were in like suits. So I guess they were like security. Yeah. Soon as she took that hat off, I mean, it was compliment after compliment after compliment, and I'm just like, dang, like I didn't even compliment her that hard, like Valentine's, and he just over here. Oh, I like your haircut. Your haircut, that's oh, nice. Oh, the box is fresh. That cut fresh. Oh, that's nice. Then he come back like two seconds. Oh, I like this. Like he all feeling. <laughs> oh, I like this. You know. Oh, your kicks. I like those too. You know what? I like the whole. I was like, I like the whole thing. <laughs> I was like, oh. Babe, okay, little broker, <laughs> <laughs> like bro, and I'm standing there like trying to mind my business, take pictures with her, and 
here he come. He just over. kept coming over to her. Like, and over again. Like, he was like, you know what? I just girl, like everything at that right. point. He even oh, came right. over <laughs> three or four okay. different times. He was like, you know what? I just like the whole get up, the Man. whole thing. <laughs> I was like, can we just get seated? That, that'd be great. Right. But that was funny. And, you know, um, going to the restaurant in the center of the city is literally downtown in Philly. So it was a bit of a cluster trying to get to the actual restaurant because they do their valet and there's only two lanes that you can drive up and one lane is for valet. So it causes a whole bunch of congestion and traffic trying to get into the restaurant so arrive early y'all yeah. know if you know downtown philly or any city you know parking is terrible um their valet was what 32 dollars. yeah um which it wasn't bad it's, it's not bad it really wasn't bad um especially for the area especially since we and had all you like had to do was walk across the street to enter yeah. into the restaurant so that was cool and we only had like 10 minutes before our reservation was yeah about to start so it wasn't like we had time to look for parking anyway so we, we just bought anyway. and paid the 32 dollars. when i was looking for reservation reservations i made sure that there was some kind of valet parking something something Excuse so we didn't have me? to be driving all around because that can be a whole different ordeal with us. Like, I will drive around. Yeah, she will. And we will be patting, turnering, footing it. I keep some flats in my bed. Yeah. Because we had to do all that because I wanting to pay you know, I $32 that. to park, but right. did, we did yesterday or yeah. the day before yesterday. Yeah. But, but mean, the food was good. Yeah. I had the snow crab, which mm -hmm. I felt like, well, it was king crab, my bad. It yeah. was king crab, which I felt like it should have been more for the price, but you know, the market, market price, price and all that other stuff. But it was good. It was seasoned because mm -hmm. I had king crab. I love seafood, y'all. I mainly always get seafood whenever I go out if they have it on the menu. Mm -hmm. But I had king crab at Steak 48. And I, I swear. Steak 48 for her birthday. And that was the nastiest crab. It, it tastes, yeah. it had no it was taste. Bland. It was very bland. No seasoning or anything. So. Mm -hmm. This restaurant, Del Frisco's, was really good. It was seasoned perfective, per, to perfection. And so was my steak. I I, the yeah, that steak was bomb. And it was bomb. And then we got cream corn for sides and mashed potatoes. And <clears throat> they were both delicious. And the sweet butter rolls. Everything was good. Was bomb. And you know what? Even though our waiter was a little... The Yankee. other ones weren't. The other ones were really like nice. It, our waiter wasn't mean. It no, just, he, he just disappeared. disappeared. And we couldn't find him. And we were just sitting there scrolling our phones because we were done. But what I like is that, you know, they'll take pictures for you because the mm -hmm. place is actually a nice place and they'll take pictures. They'll be like, oh, you want me to take your picture? They move chairs out the way so your picture is cute. Mm -hmm. So I actually thought that the staff there was friendly. Was was really nice. It was really friendly. Yeah. So Good I audience. had no complaints. I do recommend. Yep. What would you give them? If you had to out rate of them out of 10. Nine. You give them a nine? I'd give them about a nine. Yeah. They yeah. were solid. Yeah, that sounds about right. I agree yeah. with that. Mm -hmm. So, moving on. How about brunch at 19 mm -hmm. at the Bellevue? I also booked brunch at the Bellevue. Um, we hmm. uh, <laughs> We also took advantage of the valet there. Now, that was a whole different ordeal. So, we parked in the valet there. It was $45. But what they'd like to tell us is that they had a self-parking option. So... You know, whatever. All right, it's forty five dollars. We're gonna pay this forty five dollars because all you have to do is literally get out the car and walk into the hotel. And again, I got on heels, and it's like we ain't doing all this walking. Five minutes with her before in these heels. Our, our reservation. So. so we get out, we go upstairs, we dine, and you know, get all that taken care of. Met some pretty cool uh, waiters and waitresses, hostess and all that. Um, Hobnobbed with them, ate our food. I got the chicken and waffles, and she got the shrimp and grits, and we had a couple of mimosas. Food was, again, good. I like their um, honey hot sauce. It was pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. Those, uh, that shrimp and grits was bomb. I was kind of nervous at first when it came because it came with all these, like, greeneries on top. <laughs> Bell peppers and things. And, and I whatnot. was just like, what, oh, what, what are we about to do here? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, oh, this gotta go. <laughs> what are we about to do here? But it was actually really good. Like, it was really good, but... The thing that impressed me is this one right here because I didn't even have to pick up a menu. 
I really didn't. Mm -hmm. She was like, oh, I booked this because I figure you want the shrimp and grits. And I said, oh, I do. Like, I really didn't even have to pick a menu up. See, that's my boo. She know me. Mm -hmm. so, Very well. Yeah. So. It was the, the servers there, mm -hmm. I thought, were nice, too. Yeah, they were they cool. Were, the hostess was a riot. He, yeah, he was fun to eat. Well, the host. Yeah. The host, host. or hostess? Host. 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 Male. Mm -hmm. Host. Hostess, but he was a little flamboyant. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I mean, is but it he hostess was, or host? I get I, confused sometimes. Mm, it was host. Okay, um, we gonna go with host because he was cool. he was still masculine presenting even though he was yeah, hun. <laughs> me. <laughs> but yes, we gotta we gotta love our people. And yes, he was he our was people definitely. Yes, mm -hmm. he was. As soon as we got off the elevator, hey. he was like, hey. <laughs> So, yeah, that yep. was definitely a good time. Babe had a fiasco with the parking people, So, though. we go eat. Food's great. We I asked, I happened to ask the lady. I said, hey, do you guys validate? And she's like, oh, yeah, no problem. So, she takes the ticket and goes and gets the sticker or whatever for the validation. And I'm like, all right, cool. You know, we give her a tip. We get out of there or whatever and go back down because we were on the 19th floor. So, we go back down. And I tell Babe, you know, sit here. I'm going to go get the car. So, you know, she ain't got to walk around or whatnot. So she sits down and I go outside to get the car and he's like, well, you got to go over to the machine and scan the card and then your payment or whatever. So I scan the card and I scan the payment. And it's like, no. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, it's validated. So I go and find a human and I'm like, look, um, this is not telling me like, what's up? And he, I said, we dined at the restaurant. We parked valet. They validated the ticket. How come it's not allowing me to get it? He was like, well, you have the wrong sticker on there. And I'm like, what do you mean? Well, that's a self parking sticker for validation, not valet. I said, what is the difference if I park it or you park it? Like it, nobody told me that there was a self park option or else we would have parked in self park and just walked down the way or whatever. What's the difference? And so he was like, well, no, uh, they did the same thing yesterday. I said, well, obviously it's a clear problem that you guys need some communication in regards to. So somebody needs to fix this. So in the meantime, he was like, you need to go back up to the restaurant and talk. And I walked back in and babe's looking at me. I said, don't worry, I got it. So I go back upstairs and I talk to the lady that gave me the validation, which happens to be the manager on duty at that time for the, the servers or whatever. So she's like, oh, what happened? And I told her and she was like, oh, see, they tripping. They be tripping mm -hmm. on us too. Like we have to, we get charged half price for parking during the week, but on the weekend we have to pay full price. So she was like, well, I'm gonna go tell my manager. So manager came down and he was like, I'm sorry, don't worry about it. Come on, we're gonna walk over here. I'm gonna pay for it myself. And I was like, oh, I bet. So we walk out there, he scanned the ticket, run his little corporate card and pay for the, the validation. He was like, was your experience good? Did you guys have a good time? And I was like, yeah. I was like, you know, I'm from California and I like to take her out in her city when I come around and she'd be all like, can't believe you that took me out of my own city. So I'm schooling me on stuff in yeah. her own city. Yes, I come over here and razzle dazzle a few things without <laughs> her input or, or help. So he was like, Oh, that's awesome. You know, I hope you guys really enjoyed yourself. You come back. Da, 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 da. And I was like, You know, no worries. I know next time to park and sell parking, though. The, um, so he went over there, paid it. We got the <clears> car and <throat> we're able to go on. But FYI, so, the parking manager mm -hmm. at the Bellevue is a jerk. So tip number one, there is a non-ballet option mm -hmm. to park. So you can self-park at the Bellevue, which we didn't know. Mm -mm. And number two, save you some hassle and self-park. Yeah. Yep. Because it was about 30, 40 minutes that you were going yeah. off with them trying to get this situation not fixed. Longer. And I'm texting. Yeah. But I just had me a whole photo shoot in the lobby. So. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. we wasn't paying that $45 if it was already paid. I, I don't care who I got. Somebody going to fix this. Jesus, please be a fence. <laughs> but um, the I manager was you. cool. He was a real cool dude. So he came on over and said, forget this. We're going over the head. I'm going to pay for it myself. I said, well, thank you, sir. Yeah. So we was able to get on and, you know, enjoy yeah. the rest of our day. Chilled and relaxed. So we definitely recommend dinner mm -hmm. at um del frisco's and we definitely recommend brunch at 19 it's xix they're roman numeral mm -hmm. numbers xix and 19. the brunch is over with at 1 30 so if you make sure you book your reservation i booked both the reservations on open table so um a lot of the restaurants out here book off of that and mm -hmm. you know you can adjust your reservation if you need to mm -hmm. or whatnot so it's a pretty cool little 
A little set up. Definitely a nice spot. Definitely yeah. a nice spot. Mm -hmm. So, we are about to cook. Did you hear what I said? I said, we. We implies two or more. But since there's only two of us here, we are about to cook. By the way, shout out to my mom for our beanies. Oh, yes. We cute. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. Can't yep. wait to wear mine. Right. I had to hook her up so she could wear hers because she was like, babe, what am I going to wear my pink beanie with? So I had to make her a little hoodie. <laughs> Get her some kicks. Black mm -hmm. women are dirty. Yes. Because yes, they are and she is. Or, yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I guess. I guess what you cooking? We are, I don't know. You cooking? Don't know you you want to mash potatoes? So we are about to cook some fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and corn. Mm -hmm. And then once we finish cooking, we're gonna pick y'all back up. Alrighty. All well, right. Bye, y'all. See ya. So we are back at the room. It's a lot later. What time is it now? Uh, ten thirty. Oh, well, it's ten thirty. It's like three hours later. But we had to come back to pack up all the stuff because they leaves in a few hours and i'm making me some tea so if y'all hear rattling that's me with the sugar i'm making some tea but <clears throat> yeah i think base flight is at five in the morning yep so she has to be there by 3 30 in the morning and then i gotta get tired of school i gotta drop him off at eight so tomorrow gonna be a rough one for me and i'm already tired Mm -hmm. Y'all know how I be when I'm mm -hmm. tired. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Is there something you want to say? She like her sleep. Oh, I do like my sleep. <laughs> I do like my sleep. <clears throat> but y'all, it was something that Bay and I was talking about <laughs> on earlier on our way to go get Ty that I had wanted to bring to the channel and get y'all opinion on it because... My opinion obviously differs from Bay. How you want to say this, Bay? Like, how how would you describe what we were talking about? Like, um, I guess okay. So if somebody likes you, but you don't like them in that fashion, but you continue to allow them to take you out to eat or spend money on you or do things like that. Is Even that though, considered finessing? Yeah, is that considered finessing? Even though you told them, you know, you don't want to be with them. Mm -hmm. However, there may have been an instance that may have given them a difference of opinion. <laughs> So, would would that be considered to continue to finesse them? I say yeah because you ain't telling them to stop. Like, so basically, I say if you're a grown adult and you want to give me money, oh well, like give me. I, I mean, you're grown. I'm not leading you on in any way. I'm telling you exactly, you know, what it is. I don't want to be with you. However, I enjoy you taking me out and buying me things. But that's all it is. And if you continue to say, okay, I still want to take you out. I still want to give you these gifts. I don't, I don't consider that being finessed out of your money or your things. Hey. But Bay does. I say yeah because I mean you continue to take the stuff, so it's like, all right, this is a long time ago, y'all. This topic of conversation, like, mm -hmm. so, and my my topic is like, you allow them to continue to do it. Like, if I'm not interested in somebody, then well, for what I don't really want them around me. <laughs> like, I just, I'm just a little different. Like. So that, I mean, that, that really could be my bias because if I don't have any intentions with you, I really don't want you around me. Like I don't, I don't need you in my space. I don't need to go 
mm -hmm. eat with you. I don't need to hang out with you. Like, none of that. Like, because I'm the type of person, like, I can have fun by myself. Like, I don't need you taking up my space. Like, so if I don't got an interest in you, I'm not going to continue to allow you to just, you know, spend your coins on me because I don't want to be bothered. Like, spend them coins, baby. I don't care. I'll go out with you and have no interest and just want a free meal. That's me. Because, I mean, yeah. That's just me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> So, y'all heard our opinion. <laughs> y'all let us know. Is it finessing or is it not? Or what do you feel? Is it something else? What do you feel? So, drop it in the comments down below and let us know. But we are actually going to end this video right here because Bay is already packed up. And like I said, we got what? That's say 104. That gotta be. No, it's 10:34. It's 10:34. So we gotta be back up at 3:30. Well, no, you gotta be there. So we gotta be back up by three o'clock. Ugh. So we're ending this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one, y'all. Bye. We, we love you.